Do you already know you want to do medicine? Honestly, it really depends where you are. Do an intercalated year during your medical course. So, I received a question from one of you guys asking me about medicine and biomed and the different routes and what if you want to do both. So I thought instead of just replying on the comments, I would make a video about it. Now, let me just read the question out because it asks a several like it asks several things and if I just read it out I can just address the points as we go along. Hi Atisa, I'm in year 11 and I know I definitely want to follow a career in medicine and become a practicing doctor. However, I'm also very interested in biomedical sciences as the research aspect appeals to me a lot. I was wondering about which medicine route you could recommend and if you know what the research opportunities there are if I only do medicine. Would it be worth doing a biomedical sciences degree with the intent of pursuing graduate medicine or should I just apply to undergraduate medicine? Okay, so let's address uh, the first thing here which is about the content of medicine and biomedical sciences. Now obviously I should say that I haven't studied medicine and um, I've only done biomed but I know a lot of medics, <laughs> I have a lot of medics around me and I have a general idea of the kind of things you learn in there because it's what I'm hoping to get into. So all of that said, Biomed and medicine do overlap quite a lot in terms of their contents um, in certain aspects. So for example, in medicine you're going to have to learn a lot of anatomy, you'll have to learn about certain drugs and diseases, and in biomed you do learn quite a lot of those things as well. The only difference is that you learn a more scientific aspect of them, and you learn about those things more in either a research or diagnostic root if that makes sense. So for example let's say you're learning about different medicines and different drugs in biomedical sciences you might learn a lot more about like the structure of the compound and how the structure of the compound may have certain effects in the body and in medicine it might be a bit more well this medicine might cause this, these symptoms or these effects. And then some things kind of differ the other way. So for example, I learned anatomy in biomed, but I know that if you took medicine, the anatomy would be a lot more intensive. So for example, we didn't have to learn like all 200 and something bones of the body, and we didn't have to learn like in depth um, all of the anatomical structures that make up a human. But in medicine, I think you will have to know a lot more of that. So the next thing you said was that you want to become a practicing doctor, but the research aspect also appeals to you a lot. And I completely get that because I feel exactly the same. But since you are young, you are still in year 11, if you can strive to get into medicine, then I would definitely say try to get into medicine first instead of choosing to do biomed and then medicine. I mean, things worked out a little bit differently for me because at the time where I was applying to university, I didn't want to do medicine, I just wanted to do biomed. But I think I want. I started wanting to do medicine only when I got into the research route. But somebody like yourself, who already knows that you want to be a practicing doctor, then you. Th there are like literally there are so many opportunities to do research as a doctor. So I wouldn't worry about that at all. If seeing patients is your, um, I guess, ultimate reason for applying to do medicine, which, you know, I think it should be, um, and you want to do research in addition to that, then there are lots of different schemes and lots of different um, programs put in place. So for example, certain universities, King's being one of them, Imperial, I think quite a lot of the London-based unis, give you the opportunity to do an intercalated year during your medical course. So let's say you are on a five-year undergraduate medicine course, I think after your second or third year, you can opt in to um, do a year of research and essentially do something similar to what my master's was. And that is such a good opportunity because if you get in to do medicine first time round, then you don't need to go and um, you know pay and do a separate master's, you just get the same funding uh, to go and do this intercalated year, which is just amazing and I'm so jealous of the people who get to go and do that. Having said that, lots of people apply to medicine and don't get in and because of that they go and do biomed. So if that ends up happening to you or if you know you are somebody who's watching this who has had that experience, 
then I don't think it's a bad option at all. It is costly and it is a longer route. You know, I mean, I'm 24 and I only just want to get into medicine. So those are definitely factors that you need to bear in mind. But having said that, I don't regret doing a biomed degree. At the time, and still now, I was like super fascinated by the science and learning about how things work. And I think if I were to start medicine um, now, even where I am, after a degree and the, master and the masters, I think because I already have a lot of that knowledge from before, it can only help me in my degree. So yes, all of that rambling, what I'm trying to say is that if you can get into medicine the first time round, I would say that's the better option. You'll be saving yourself time and there are opportunities to do research in the future. But if you don't get in, don't fret. Go and do biomed. It's, it's a good three years. And then after that, if you want to pursue either full-time research or full-time medicine, then you can also do that. I have to say that there are so many different routes to get into medicine. So I know people who have been like nurses for like 10 years who just think, you know, actually, I want to go into medicine and pursue research routes after doing all of this clinical work for the first 10 years of their career. Honestly, it really depends where you are um, in terms of, you know, your studies or career or whatever. Um, but to address your questions, if you are in year 11 and if you already know you want to do medicine, then go for it and good luck to you. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. Bye! I hope you enjoyed this video my lovelies, do give it a thumbs up if you did because that would be amazing and it would help me out a lot. Also if you're new make sure to subscribe and hang around and to those of you who have always been here, my beautiful subscribers, make sure to hit that little bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a video. Take care and I'll see you later.